First question is from Lake Jossen. When is it more advantageous to use a supinated grip over a pronated grip for tricep exercises? It's obviously riskier when doing exercises like skull crushers, but does it hit the tries at a different angle? No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember when I thought so, that, yeah. that it did something. Because it feels different. It does. It, you, so I would do press downs, and I would mm -hmm. change the handles, right? So I'd go press down with the straight bar, the rope, and then it'd have a supinated grip, and I'd be like, oh, I feel it in, in different areas. Yeah. And then you learn uh, anatomy and biomechanics, and you realize that the triceps really has nothing to do with the wrists rotating. It does nothing, has nothing to do with supinating or proning the hands, unlike the biceps. But then people would say things, and I would say something like back then, but I feel it differently. Yeah. Well, the reason why you feel it differently is supinating or proning your hands tends to change your elbow position a little bit. So if I supinate my hands... I'm more likely to squeeze my elbows in at my sides rather than allowing them to, out. to flare out a little bit. And trice, uh, elbow position makes a difference with triceps. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what you'd, you would basically want to pay attention to. Do you think it's that? Do you think it's the, the elbow positioning that makes it feel different? I've you, actually never thought uh, of you're that. You're driving it in more yeah, when no, you that supinate? Makes, I mean, that makes I sense. It's yeah, so yeah. like you're squishing your triceps against if you're, the Because if your palms are up and you're doing like a reverse grip push down like you're saying right now, you're right. Like I can... It, it actually feels awkward to let the elbows flare out. It mm -hmm. feels more comfortable to keep them more turned in. That's right? why so it feels be, different. Right. And when you do a tricep pushdown, one of the most common things when you're in an overhand grip or pronated, you see people flare their elbows. So maybe you're right. I'd never even thought of that. That's why it felt so different. I just thought because you're holding on to it and actually just the tense of you gripping it. Because right. you like when you're on top of it, like on a pushdown, you don't even have to grip the bar. Like mm -hmm. you could completely relax your palms and pu push yeah, down. Yeah, I was thinking the tension might be another That's factor, right? Yeah, because th then you can squeeze a bit harder and more intensely sometimes when you're in a supinated grip uh, just because now we're like squeezing versus just pushing is a different type of stimulus. But again, I think the, the elbow position is definitely, you know, that's that's you know going to be the meat of it all. Well, that was one of the best. We did a video. Maybe I'll have um, – Rachel's been going through our old uh, – library of uh, YouTube videos and she's been posting like things that we did a long time ago. We did a video that um, it was all about buys and tries and it was all about elbow position. Yeah. It was a long time ago that we did. So maybe she'll post that up on the uh, main IG. But t that was the biggest, uh, you know, I'm trying to get better about saying game changer. We say it all the time. <laughs> it, just it, 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 just, it just fits so it well. It changed the game. Yeah, yeah it, just, it just fits so well there, though. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a, you know, it was a game changer for me when this when this came together. Like, I, too, would do, you know, on tricep day, I would go over to the cable machine because I felt it the most on cables more than anything else. And I would do a regular so, tricep push down, a supinated push down. I'd do the rope, and that would be like tricep day. Yep. Yeah. And nothing. I I got more gains on my buys and tries when I when I learned the the importance of manipulating my elbow positioning. And then I started to look at every workout and go, oh, okay. I'm going to do an exercise with my elbows by my side, my elbows out in front of me, and then my elbows above my head. Yes. And then that, and then whether I did cables, dumbbells, all that stuff didn't matter as much as long as I manipulated the elbow positioning. Oh my God, my arms blew up after that. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's the the things you want to focus on. Exactly what Adam said, right? Elbows by your sides, elbows in front of you like a skull crusher, elbows overhead like an overhead tricep. All three of those stretch and work the triceps a little differently, especially if you look at the attachments. But there is. There is a little bit of a difference in changing the the wrist position. Now it's not really it doesn't really have anything to do with the triceps. However, your recruitment patterns, you can get better at practicing a movement with different position. Now, I can't think off the top of my head what the value would be at getting good at a supinated grip press down. But let's just say you you were in some kind of weird sport that required you to grip something in a supinated grip and use your tricep, in that particular case, then it would make sense. So when it comes to sports or movement or patterns, then you're not necessarily looking at your body like a bodybuilder would, right? This is a bodybuilder question. Well, Does it hit the triceps differently? But if you're talking about a movement, as, as a movement, if you're playing, if you're doing a sport, and even though the hand position might not affect the targeted muscle, it may be a good idea to, to train with that hand position because that's the one you're using so much. That's, uh, Michael Hearn makes the case for this. Uh, he does a lot of like uh, weird, odd, like angled exercises mm -hmm. that are very similar, like as far as getting the getting the the di uh, like gains on your tricep or your bicep. Like him doing this exercise versus this other one that he would show. It's like I'm looking at that and going like oh, neither one of those are going to make that big of a difference. 
but the case that he makes is that it's you know I want to be strong in all positions, right? So and I can get behind that. Yep, yep. You know that what I'm makes saying? sense. Yeah, like I mean, in real life, you you're you're rarely ever in the the perfect skull crusher position, the perfect yeah. overhead. You know what I'm saying? So having your elbows flared, laying in a weird position with your out in a different it's way. The same I feel too with those, um, you know, those those added grip, fat uh, grips, fat grips. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's just the same. It's it's you know just getting strong with a different grip is valuable. Valuable, but it's not like right, not the everything's game like a- changer, the panty dropper, whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> We're gonna change do we say that? Do we do panty say that? Do we do panty dropper? I tell you what, when yeah. I changed elbow position, it was a panty dropper. <laughs> <laughs> right, it kind of works. I, hey, I'm with you. We're gonna that use doesn't that. work. I don't think. Ah <laughs> oh, man, 